What's, What's up, up y'all? Welcome, Welcome back, back to Just Between Us, Us podcast. podcast. I'm your host, Natalie Odell. And I'm your host, Easy. <laughs> and I know you see them double R's behind I us. Damn, Wait, baby. Who are we? Yo, we Randy, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know how the people, when they take pictures in a Rolls Royce, they go like this? Leaning it back, leaning the head to the side to make yeah. sure you can see the double R's. That's how we about to do this whole double podcast. R's. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't Come gonna on lie. now. For the people that can't see this, make sure y'all tap into the YouTube channel because we are in a Rolls Royce right now, baby. Oh, with orange leather interior. Come y'all. on now. Talk what? to him. Who is she? Come on. With the switch up. All right, oh baby. Oh, my Man. God. Y'all, so we, wanted, we want to welcome you to our first episode of something we're very, 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 very proud of. Yes, baby. Called Car Chronicles. Car Chronicles. Okay. Episode one. Just between us. Come on now. So y'all know when you have like, when you're in the car, I feel like it don't matter who you're in the car with, whether you're on the phone or with somebody else. I feel like for some reason, those conversations just be hitting different. They hit different, baby. You know, when you like on a date Uh and then you getting dropped off and it's like, damn, you either in the car for a super long time or in the, like in a house real real quick. Either way, it's just that feeling of just being in a car and it's getting that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there's something about being being in the car where there's just it's like a truth serum or something like you can't help but tell the truth amen say (laughs) man i you got me you got me like having hot flashes because i remember we was just best friends and that when we was in our car having car chronicles it was a nissan back then you know what i'm saying it It wasn't rolls royce it wasn't rolls royce you feel me (laughs) but she would give me them googly eyes type shit and i I felt like you would just really look at me like in a way to where it's like Damn, easy. I'm feeling you, but I ain't gonna say it. You think I was feeling you? Hey, man, say, man. You thought I was feeling you? That nigga (laughs) lunch. I feel like you was, but you wasn't trying to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? We was was in best friend mode type shit. So I feel like you wasn't saying nothing. But now that I got this double R behind me, you feel me? You might be a little into me. I love something. You know? No, I'm not gonna lie, though. (sighs) What, baby? This car got me feeling a type of way. I feel like... What you feeling? It got me in that mood. You got you in a mood? Yeah, Ooh. I already... Hold on, will we cut the cameras off or no? No, no. keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Okay, keep it rolling. <laughs> Fuck it, this is Car Chronicles, y'all, and we're going to be honest. Car it's going to be the, the real, raw, authentic, mm-hmm. n- no filter type shit. Okay, you know so what I'm saying? I have saying? a question for you. Okay, what's your question, baby? It's juicy, you ready? I'm ready, come on, let's you give sure? it to me. Car Chronicles, okay. you know, I'm, I'm, born, I'm born for this. Come on, okay. all right, here we go. All right, wait, all right, wait, wait, before we, before I ask the question, I want to kind of play a little game. Ooh, see, this is why I like this already, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love games. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead, baby, what's up, what's all up? Right. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like speed karaoke, all right? Okay. <laughs> I know this is, it seems kind of random. Speed but... karaoke? Wait, I'm a sing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what the I'm fuck? gonna just 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 play. Just play. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I'm thinking we're finna get freaky, man. She talking about speed karaoke. Got <laughs> oh, me singing no. and shit. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna say three words okay. that have to do with my next question, and you have to come up with a song that has those words in it in five seconds. Okay. I only get five seconds. Five seconds. It's speed karaoke. Okay. All right. Here we go, y'all. I like to play games. You know what I'm saying? But I got you, baby. Okay. So it's just. You're going to say one word, and I go. One word, and you got to go. Sing. Okay, go, go ahead. All right, right. ready? I got you. Go ahead. Sex. Sex. Sex ain't better than love. Ego. Got a big ego. (laughs) Such a Damn, I can't sing it. Let me sing. (laughs) Such a huge ego. (laughs) I love his big ego. It's too- All right, bet, bet, bet. Bet, bet. I'm going to put you to bed. Okay. Bet, bet. I'm going to put you to bed. Damn, you ain't let me get into the other ones. Damn, because I'm quick with it. Hey, it's hey, don't called, challenge me, it's baby. Called, it's called fast or whatever. Speak but you karaoke. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Okay, next time let me sing if you're going to do it. Like, I want to show my vocals. You know I got it. Okay, I know. Okay. You know, I, you know, know. I know. Come on now. She be singing in the shower, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, okay, so now what's the, okay, what's the so question? Here's the question. Okay. Tell me something that turns you on. Damn! We getting right into it. We okay. Got to, we in the Rolls Royce. All right, we in the Rolls Royce. Type. This is grown, grown and sexy. Grown and sexy? Okay, something that turns me on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Something that turns me on? Yes. Just one thing or a couple things? Uh, tell me a few things. A, a few, few things, things that turn you on. One thing that turns me on mm-hmm. is being in the back seat with a girl. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah. One thing that turned me on. I ain't go cap. Like, that's even before you, no? Really? Oh, yeah. before me? It was no before you. Oh, it was okay. no before you. There was no girl ever. No, I ne- you, can, you can be honest. That's like what I, I said, thought, because you got my heart like this. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no girl. I ain't never dated nobody before you. <laughs> You're like, I'm like, wrong answer. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Come no, on, let me be honest. You can be honest. honest. You can be okay, honest. so yeah. Hey, we going to be real honest. Okay, okay? so even yeah. to the point where it might hurt a little bit. Okay. It's going to hurt. Maybe. All right, so yeah, let me be honest. I'm not gonna lie, being in the back seat with a girl, that's definitely one of my turn ons. I feel like Just if you, any back seat or No, no, no. I definitely love a Rolls Royce. Oh. The back of a Rolls Royce, you feel me? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, can I okay I got it another is thing. Spacious I, back here, you know what I'm saying? It's, it got a lot of room. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, another thing that turned me on though too, um, I love a good tennis skirt. Something about a tennis skirt just get really? me like, oh my god! What does that like, date back to? I feel like that might have had something to do with like a first crush or something. Because I feel so oh, random. Nah, it's just I don't know. I love legs, so I feel like e- even if a girl is in like shorts, you know what I'm saying? It looks good, but something about a tennis skirt—the way that they it flows on a woman's body, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you could just barely see like a cuff. Just you know what I'm saying? Just really a, see the cheeks. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like, <laughs> oh, a whole tennis okay, skirt. Okay, so what do you prefer, legs or ass? Ooh. I mean, of course, you know, I love a good glute. A good glute, gluteus a glute, maximus? Gluteus, ma- glute booty. You know what I'm saying? I do love a good glute. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like to get to the glute, you got to, it's like the pan up shot. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. we kind of did in the intro? Yeah. Like you got that pan. So you starting from the legs. Like I'm always looking at the legs first. Like, damn. Yeah. Then I'm going up to the booty, bootyus maximus. You know what I'm saying? It's called, okay. Yeah. You right. get you get bootyus it. Bootyus maximus. Bootyus That's maximus. Go with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Else? <laughs> what else can you want? Because you know what? I do have on a black tennis skirt and I am in the backseat of the car. So I'm winning, y'all. Oh, like, see, hey, man, two say, for man. Two. This podcast is going to end in a minute. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Keep playing. All right, man. We got This is going on YouTube, so we got to kind of chill. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Chill is getting hot and steamy, and it's not because of lights. Okay, so what else turns you on? You want more? Damn. Okay. What else? Okay. Oh, um, something else that turns me on. Oh, one thing I love about women that could really turn me on is a girl that's flexible. I love a flexible girl. Like, I ain't even know I really liked a flexible girl until I met you. (laughs) 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 No, seriously, though. And this ain't, I'm really, I'm really not just trying to. put my business out there. Oh, I I did? (laughs) No, you could. could. Okay, this is Car Chronicles. I feel comfortable. I am a little flexible. I ain't. You know. No, no, bruh, bruh. Okay, I'm not trying to get too spicy, y'all. I'm really not. Like, I'm. I think you brought out a lot of turn-ons for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been with a lot of not a lot of women. I've been with several women, and I <laughs> felt like she said, Wait, not, "Hold on." Not you know what I'm saying? But it's just like I feel like the way your sex appeal is. It's like, and then like you got, you're not just beauty brains too. So it's just, I can say, I can, it's endless amount of turnovers for me, you know? Type I don't feel like all of these things are a compliment for me. I was just asking in general, but I'll take it. I mean, say, man, you look good. You look blessed. And I feel like everything you do is a turn on. But in general, like you made me realize, like, damn, I ain't never really been with a flexible girl. When I seen how flexible you was, and not even in a sexual way, it's just like, damn, when you stretching in the morning, like, I'm talking about one leg up hand on front and frontal that's how she like this she like this she's stretching and doing her pilates body in the morning i'm like damn baby chill out what you trying to do work out or want me work you out that's how i feel baby but yeah that's one of my turn ons you know what i'm saying this is really given just between us i feel like we are not about to post this to like millions of people no we are i know but it doesn't feel like that it's we okay something about the car i'm telling you it it gets spicy okay let me calm down should i calm down no, keep going. Okay, no, you go. What's the turn on for you? You got any turn ons? Like, and it don't. It doesn't necessarily have to be about me. Like, you know what I'm saying? What is something that naturally turns you on? Because you did not date women, right. so it could be even if uh, you know. I ain't even gonna put that in your head. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. just name a name, name, name a couple, or name something. What you think? Ooh, that's tough. Let me think. What turns me on? What turns you on, baby? I don't know. What? It's kind of simple. It's just like when you smell really good. A word? When I smell good or just oh, in general? When a person smells? When a person, 
you too. <laughs> hey, this is Carl Chronicles. You smell really good, but I really like. I've always liked that, like the scent of somebody. Mm-hmm. If they smell good, like immediately. I mean, obviously. I'm not going to lie. I've seen, I've been around some people where it's like they smell good and they don't even look good. And there's, it's just it's, more of an attraction I where you're that. just like, you ain't really cute, but you smell fire. That's fire. Yeah, definitely, fellas. If you, your face card ain't valid or ladies, you know what I'm saying? If your face card ain't valid, at least smell good because you might have more of a fighting chance. You know it's what I'm saying? It's definitely an aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac? Mm-hmm. Afro, who, what, what the fuck? Why you say that? Isn't that, what, what? It's it basically is the Afro. It's something that is like turns you on basically. What the fuck? Hey man, look, I'm gonna come up to a girl like, damn, shit, you aphrodisiacing me right now. No, what? Hell no, please do not say that. All right, damn, that's such an aphrodisiac. What? No, like, who says that? That's you just you, said it's a turn I'll school you after this. See, that's what turned <laughs> so me on. She's so smart. So an is something that, like, it could be something, a smell of something. It's, like, something that kind of gets, it might not necessarily be something sexual, mm-hmm. but it turns you on. Chocolate is an aphrodisiac. It's Chocolate, supposed to okay. make you feel sexual and sensual. Like, there's certain chocolate, strawberries. Are, yeah. Like, ice mm, on the I body. Maybe, but mm. it doesn't always have to be sexual. It could okay. be, like I said, just chocolate in general. There's certain, I think, mushrooms even that are aphrodisiacs. Okay, it sounds like a race. Like, I, I'm, what are you? I'm aphrodisiac. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm it aphrodisiac. Does, it does sound like a race. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah, afro. It got to be made by black people. Afro. Afro. Aphrodisiac. What? Mm. Nah, black people ain't complicated. They didn't make that shit up. They, the white people say, them niggas, them niggas always smelling like something. So they said, they give it to the aphrodisiacs over there. Oh, my God. But it doesn't only have to do with scent. Afro. Anyway, what, okay. Another thing that turns me on, because this is it's in the back of my head. So I love, okay. I love. What do you love, baby? I love getting freaky in, like, public places. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> are we filming what are we filming right now are we filming a podcast what are we filming it's a podcast okay just make it short because i feel like you're throwing me hints or something like that oh okay. no i'm not okay I'm just, I'm just telling you okay yeah you asked me a question right yeah so i'm just answering the questions all right well, what else shit let's keep getting into it go ahead what else what else turns you on sensual dominance Mm. and can you explain for the audience that don't know what sensual dominance is well basically okay so i feel like some people you know what i feel like some people when it comes to dominance they got it all wrong they feel like it's just being just a brute like being overly a brute that sounds like you're fucking cooking coffee and they're just being a the coffee's a brute (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's my dumb ass this is why she, she's so smart go ahead a brute. <laughs> Being a brute it's basically i just feel like they'll they'll be too aggressive or yeah. they think like being dominant is being almost like rude or being mm-hmm. like um i don't know just like overly aggressive were you walking on eggshells and shit well, like that? yeah or okay. not even it's just like because they could be trying to do it sexual mm-hmm. but it's just like are you talking about in the bedroom or you're talking about in general like mm-hmm. the turn on in general it can okay. be a turn on but it has to be like a and when i say sensual dominance it's like dominance with a hint of like mm. sensuality and softness mm. so it's a it's a very intricate thing to balance okay because you can easily be too dominant mm-hmm. or too sensual and now it's not dominant okay so let me ask you a question mm-hmm. because obviously i have these questions i don't feel like i'm an overly sensual or just a sensual dominant person you know and me and you've been together for a couple of years now so me being the way that i am i feel like i'm not i'm a stud uh-huh. At, you know basically because my clothes you know what i'm saying but the people that do know me like i have one side to where it's a lot like it's really girly like you really right. you know fell in love with that side of me too as a best friend mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying then i do have that dominant side but i don't feel like i have a sensual dominance you know unless it's probably in the bedroom you know i'm very dominant in the bedroom you know what i'm saying but Are you? hey i'm just i'm speaking out of confidence so yes i am <laughs> but I don't think that you were saying that's an all over thing. So do you feel, and this is car chronicles, you know what I'm saying? And just, just between us, do you feel like I, I put my legs up on you? Is that okay? That's totally fine. Do y'all see the Gucci stockings? (laughs) The Gucci stockings. Yes. 
Okay. Um, so do you feel like I have a sensual dominance in this <sighs> relationship? I definitely think we have. Be honest. Okay. Because I, I don't feel like I do. The I, way what you're describing. I think okay. that there are moments okay. when you do. Okay. And it turns me on. Okay. And I would say those moments probably are when, say we're like getting into it, right? And an I'm argument. Being, an argument. Okay. Or whatever. And I'm being bratty, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Right. And instead of getting upset, mm -hmm. like you like sit me down and mm -hmm. you don't talk to me like, you don't yell at me, but okay. you kind of listen. I understand what you're going through, but tell them I need you to like I need you to reel it in right now because blah blah blah. Know that I love you, but this this and that. And so I that's what you call like, sensual dominance. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, like like pretty much what happened in the the closet the other day. Yeah, when you was acting like a little brat, and I was like, listen, baby. Yeah, and it's like. You know what I'm saying? It, it's also like ownership too, because like mm -hmm. if you're wrong, but you're like, there's just a way about doing. It. It's like, oh, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Yeah. And it's and it's being dominant in like different situations. It's not always because like a dominant person doesn't necessarily think that they're always right and they can't yes. ever be wrong about. That's anything. toxic though. That's that just is toxic. toxic. But yeah. I think a lot of people would think like dominance is like, oh, I need to always be in control. I need to, and that's not necessarily the case. So that's why I said right. there's such a like uh, interesting way to balance that. Mm -hmm. That and it feels sensual still because it's still sweet. Right. It can turn sexual very quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I like that. Okay. It's something that. So did you? You didn't. You said I do or don't have it because, like I said, you do. You do. I don't think you're always in that space because mm -hmm. you are. You're full of surprises. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get with easy. She's either gonna be being batshit crazy as far as goofy and damn just, can you not say batshit crazy and goofy in the same explanation because it sounds like i'm fucking batshit crazy goofy <laughs> it's just given like this is what that seems like <laughs> if it was a facial expression Wait, <laughs> like that's what you do like that sometimes but damn it's like okay batshit crazy y'all know her like just by <laughs> off of social media I imagine yeah. like living with her like she's mm -hmm. goofy it's like but then the, she goes into this random like daddy mode where it's like some people find it really hard to believe that i have a masculine dominant energy they just think that i'm goofy all the time you know what i'm saying i used to think that when i would yeah. not about you necessarily but about like comedians mm -hmm. like when i see like comedians like famous comedians and stuff mm -hmm. i always think like i i think dating them would be fun but right. i can't imagine being attracted to them because mm -hmm. they just don't seem like they could pull out what they got to pull out but hey. now dating a comedian my pull out game strong <laughs> I cannot with you. Okay, so wait, I got I got a question for you. Like, you just stirring up the pot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When you see me, pretty much, like you weren't even like. So is that what you were thinking, or no? Like, what? damn, can she be intimate because she's so fucking goofy? Or is that what you thought about me? Because I'm, I'm always telling jokes. That's what you said. I feel like I didn't think that about you because we were best friends, so I didn't really think about you having like sex until until we started talking about like your situations with the girls and mm -hmm. stuff or you telling me or I, I remember one time when I was with you and you like turned into this different person trying to get at this girl like I was like who is this like you just so did it turn you on no it didn't turn me on at the time but it was just like interesting it okay. was like wait I you have to remember we were in uh, Pasadena and we were what? walking and there was this girl and you were like hold on I'm gonna go try to talk to her and I just saw you transform and you was that's that that was when you knew you. <laughs> that's when you knew she <laughs> fucked up <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is a good amount of time before being intimate why are you asking that? A lot of things are spinning in my head, and I really just want to know a lot. But what do you think is a good amount of time to wait to have sex with somebody? Oof. Like, how that long is... do you think you should hold off? Should you go? What you think? You should. Is it right away? Like, what you think? I feel like it, it, that depends on the person. Oh. I don't think that that's necessarily like a one size fits all type of question. Really? Because I've definitely like in my single days, 
waited different amounts of time with people. But like, what's feel, what's your what's your like? All right, I can't do it on the first night, second night, or I can, okay. or like so two yeah, weeks. Like, what is for it? For me, I'm definitely not doing it on like the first day. Damn, date, none of that. You've never. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've already told me you've never had a one night stand. No, I've never had a one night stand. But what about a one night stay? What is that supposed to mean? Like you, a one night stand is usually like you have you're intimate with somebody, but then y'all not really after that is done. You know, it's one and done. One night stay is more so like okay, bet like we done did it, and I'm feeling you and I'm vibing, and now we talking. Like you know what no, I'm saying? No, never. I've never okay. done that. You're no. so cute. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. But the reason why I say it's like a, it's not a one size fits all is because for me, answer the damn be... question. What I'm you fucking to. is? Can you shut up? Okay, you listen. You, listen. You fucking the second or the first night or what? I already said no, nigga. Okay. Damn. How long are you waiting in? It depends. Okay. All I right, was fine. just trying. If I could get to my point, <laughs> I was trying to say before I was really interrupted that basically it just depends on the vibe that I'm getting with this specific person. Because to me, the rule of thumb is are there genuine feelings being built? Do I see myself in a relationship with this person? Because mm-hmm. I'm not about to just, to me, I, I, I never just had sex just to have sex. Okay. I, it was to see what's up with this person. Like we might, we're going to end up in a relationship in my head. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's your, what's your, what's a good time for you? I've waited, I've waited like months before. I've also waited only like a week before. But damn, was he fastest. was lucky. That was literally a the week. <laughs> yeah. Who? With him. Who? I don't know, say. Say, okay, tell me my ear. He was. Tell me my ear. Okay. Who was it? You, you fucked him in a week? Yeah. I did. Damn. <laughs> but you know why? Damn. The, the vibe. That was the fastest fastest I've ever had. Hey, no judgment. Ain't no judgment in Car Chronicles. And the reason why, like, was him and we ended up together for like a year. So it was so, a it was a week week night stay instead of one night stand or one night stay. Well, it was no, week. we dan- we were in. By the time we had sex, we were in a relationship. That's like, your that's we your got that's in a your relationship. Quick. That's as what hell. she told me. It was so fast when I say like we and we met and we spent all day every day together until mm-hmm. it finally happened and it wasn't like a week it was it was like a week and a half whatever going on two weeks but still it was like very quick for me okay. at least and we ended up in like a year long relationship after that so that's why mm-hmm. I said it really just depends like mm-hmm. it felt like I I grew feelings for him and caught feelings for him very fast and okay. vice versa so yeah because some people feel like they got this like I feel like with women. Too, a lot of women feel like they gotta wait like a long time, like, and it's more so a morality thing. You feel me? And I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, what was we watching? Uh, Love is Blind. Mm-hmm. When um, what was I forgot the, the 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 school teacher and then the other. Oh my gosh, she was so amazing. I forget their two name, but on Love is Blind, it this was season's popping. Oh, he's a principal. He yeah, principal, the black guy. Yeah, y'all. The, the black y'all watch guy. This? Yes, this show is crazy. Crazy. You know, of course, you know, one of my favorites on the cast is Ad. She was she's definitely one of my favorite. Okay, but. Yeah, she's all- Super lit, but first of all, we knew she was. They was getting it. They, you could tell by their energy, their aura. But like, I felt like the teacher. He was damn near. They said they were waiting. The principal. Okay, the principal was. He was waiting until marriage. And I'm like, y'all don't even fucking know each other. You, you guys on the show trying to get married, and it's like I can't marry you unless I know what's up. Y'all barely know each other's two weeks, and y'all finna get married. Like, come on, let's get it popped like and dropping. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, I don't understand people that wait that long. Like, I'm the type of person like I have to know because our chemistry could be great outside of the bedroom, mm-hmm. but if it's not hidden inside a be- bedroom, which has happened to me, like, oh yeah, I was really feeling this. I used to flirt with this girl for like mm-hmm. years. Me and her, you could just feel our intimate connection right. type shit and like you thought it was about to be fire bro i i was <laughs> like we knew we couldn't be intimate right. because of how crazy our chemistry was why so what do you mean i don't get that you it was just like be because yeah it just felt like this is gonna be dangerous you know what i'm saying because really? we always see each other out you know what i'm saying we just like the chemistry was just undeniable describe this chemistry I can't see in the car chronicles. I wanted to feel honest. You told me about the guy that you smashing, but I feel what like you're being sarcastic. Are you being sarcastic? No. Okay. All right. I'm I'm literally telling you to describe the under, under, okay. In, what did you say? The chemistry. The chemistry. Okay, okay. Okay. So look, I feel like the chemistry was just like every time we seen each other, it just felt like, damn, I want to. 
I want to, you know, get intimate with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. trying to be intimate. So you guys would just like run into each other like at the club? Or yeah, what? the club, okay. at Pride, okay. um, all along Long Beach Pride, L.A. Pride. Every time I seen her out, but it was never that moment where we could just like hang out. It was and outside. It was always so outside. Was never, like y'all could be intimate. Yeah. Okay. So it was just like we knew. and we, But we were friends though. You know okay. what I'm saying? We, we, went, we went to school together. Mm -hmm. So like back in the day. So then when we seen each other, we just knew. And one night... Okay. You know, we went out. She hit me up like, yo, like, come out with me. Like, we always go out and see each other. Like, come yeah, out with me. Right. You feel me? I went out with her and we got back to the crib. Things mm -hmm. got a little spicy, mm -hmm. but it wasn't, it, it didn't it, hit. It didn't hit. And we was, I could tell, like. Y'all both we, were confused? Yeah. Because oh, it wasn't, damn, that sucks. Because <laughs> it wasn't like it was trash or nothing, but there was absolutely no chemistry. Really? Isn't that weird? Like, we felt the sexual healing outside of the room, but it was like. I've never experienced that before. Me either, except for with her. Wow. So I was just so confused. So I'm, did and you after guys that, we both agree like that it was not it. No, we never really kind of said them, but we could feel it. Like, and we kind of really stopped talking after that. And I, because I couldn't. Wait, like, did you low key feel like, damn, maybe, it, like, did you feel bad, like it was on your performance? No, nah, ain't no way. I ain't no way, my butt. Okay, but okay. if we both felt, I knew that it wasn't just me, because you know, like sometimes when it ain't good, like, I mean, I don't know if you if you know if it's good or not, but like I've been with a girl where like it was just off, like, nah, bro, it ain't it. Like it's her. I could tell it was both of us. It was, it was just, just like, no chemistry. Just yeah. It, did it feel like y'all were acting? Like, what did it feel like? I'm so You don't confused. even know what that's like. I, don't, I mean, I definitely have had sex with somebody that I didn't have chemistry with. But exactly. I really didn't have chemistry with them outside of oh. it either. And it was, like, forced. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then it was like, okay, well, I kind of expected the chemistry not to be there. Or sometimes I feel like chemistry can be built a little bit. Do you mm -hmm. think chemistry can be built? Of course, chemistry can be built, but it was built for us, and it just wasn't built in the bedroom. Like, we wasn't built for this. Like, we wasn't. It was not it. Like, and I feel bad because we not friends no more. And I'm like that. Like, I felt like that's when I really knew, like, I if I'm not rocking with you in the bedroom, like, I can't do this. So I don't understand when love is blind. Like, if you not being intimate, like, this is the moment you have to be intimate before you get married. Like, I could be in love with you through them pods. Then when I see you, I, I'm in love with you. But then when we in the bedroom, I'm, nah, on to the next. So I'm do sorry. you think, though, do you, okay, so I know you're saying that you can't be with somebody that you don't have that intimate connection exactly. with that chemistry that right. sexual chemistry 100 percent. but do you think that you could possibly fall in love with somebody okay through just having sex with them like it might be somebody who you literally would never have dated but otherwise like uh -huh. you, you don't even care for their personality like that but y'all have sex and now it's a wrap like you're in love do you think that's possible? Yeah, I think that's absolutely possible. Yeah, really? because that's what drives love for me too. Like, it's all it's it's if it's like, damn, this is heat. Yeah. Wait, you we locked in? Ain't no such thing. Nah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Do you think that's what happened with us? No, not at all. And I know that didn't happen because we felt that chemistry. Like, the world knew what our chemistry was. I know, I'm just checking. Yeah, the chemistry was <laughs> undeniable. So when, when that happened, when... Dang, when, I'm not going to lie. That was, like, it's such a scary moment for me. Because, like, what you're saying mm -hmm. about you're how, right. you know, that's a big thing. It's a big thing for me, too. Like, that chemistry got to be there. Mm -hmm. That sexual energy. Right. Like, it, we got to be compatible. Got to be compatible. And that it was the same thing. Like, we had, we fell in love first. Mm -hmm. That chemistry was, like, amazing. Immaculate, and that, magical, spiritual. Emotional. Healing. Ooh sensational sensational, sensational. everything that we needed y'all but that's why we here now she here three that, years later is, yeah. isn't it more than three years three years three years we got together in 2020 it's oh it's 24 it's 2024 four? yeah oh it's been four years but i feel like i've been with you for a decade yeah because you're like, my best friend yeah but regardless i was so scared y'all like mm. i was so scared that if easy and i got intimate and it was not it like i was gonna fall out of love i knew i was gonna fall out of love <laughs> wait 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 so like have you ever been baptized what 
Have you ever been hypnotized? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been pussy whipped? What? Have you ever been pussy whipped? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? I'm trying to say it how you said it. You ever been hypnotized? I have been. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I have been. I definitely know for a <laughs> fact. The right. dude that I said I had sex with, okay. that was the fastest okay. I ever had sex with a guy. Uh huh. I shouldn't have done that. See, I should have went with the months because was, I was in a relationship with that man for a year. Wait, what's your definition of that? What's sex. your What's your definition of hypnotized? When you're with somebody, you and you feel damn near hypnotized by them, right? Okay. And it's the sex, right? And you really, it's not until a year later where you're like, I don't even like this man. Or a woman. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. I really don't even like them like that because now you're used to the sex. So it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's still good, but you're used to it. Yeah. And I think that's what happened. So I would say definitely I stand on, wait, wait your time. A month is a good amount of time, I would say. Okay. The okay, because you know us lesbians, we move fast. Lesbians move so damn fast. Wait, you, didn't, telling... ask, you didn't answer. What? Have you ever been pussy whipped? What? Pussy whipped. Pussy whipped. Pussy whipped. Yeah. Whipped. Yes, I feel like all lesbians have, and that's the problem. That's why there's a thing with lesbians is that like we fall in love so damn quick. A lesbian relationship is totally different. Everybody knows lesbian time is totally different than straight people time. If me and you are dating, you know what I'm saying. But I grew out of that. You know what I'm saying. I did grow out of that. But if we How like, did you grow out of that? Because you we because we literally you would have been locked in with me way before that we but took I wasn't too long gay, so i know i would have been plotting on your ass you know what i'm saying but we was just best friends but listen let me okay. give you lesbian right. math right. lesbian math. math come on lesbian math we move so damn quick like our one week of mm-hmm. dating is really like equivalent to like a month mm-hmm. in the lesbian world two weeks is equivalent to like three months it's like dog years mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so with lesbians we just move so fast because it's two women you know what i'm saying so i just feel like that's really just us being whipped. You feel me? <laughs> it's just that's that's what it really is when you think about what. Yeah. So okay. yeah, definitely lesbians. Definitely, and me. Yes, I have. Yes, and I've been in a very toxic relationship because I was whipped, and it wasn't even that good. I was just about to say I don't think that's what you was because you already told me it wasn't good like that. So I was young. Something about me. What I was young you? and dumb. I think you were just in love because it wasn't even the. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a word. <laughs> you got Carl up there cackling. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, the light. damn light. Ow, damn. Damn. <laughs> damn, that's because she whipped. <laughs> I'm hungry. You hungry, baby? I'm sorry, baby. Hold on, hold on. You want what you want? What you want? You know I got, I got, I got it. You know what? Hey, driver, can we go to um Popeyes? We gonna go to Popeyes? You wanna go to Popeyes? Baby, we don't have a driver. I think you're gonna have to drop us. We don't Just because we got a Rolls Royce don't mean we have a driver. Wait, this don't come with a driver? No. Okay, I'm gonna get you my You wanna let Carla drive? Carla ain't on the insurance. Okay, go. Okay, go I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna we go we're going to Popeyes, baby. Let's take a little drive. Let's go through the drive-thru. Okay, let's go. Let's get go to Popeyes. little Popeyes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like pulling up in a Rolls Royce at Popeyes. Cause I love these some Popeyes. Ooh. Come on, let's go to Popeyes. This is the first time for everything. Come on, man. Classic or spicy? Spicy with fries and mac and cheese. Don't slam it. All right, we got our Popeyes. Oh, wait, hold on. Come on. There it is. Okay, we got our Popeyes, y'all. You know, I had to be a little ghetto, my baby. What we got? Hey, you can take the girl out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the girl. You don't even hood, baby. I'm the hood, baby. Get your mic. They can't even hear you. Where your mic at? All right, what we got on the menu? Y'all know we couldn't. Y'all know we couldn't do this without the Popeyes biscuits. You know what I'm saying? We got the Popeyes biscuits. Okay, baby, what you got? My baby vegan. She yeah. well, she had vegan. She she. I'm pescatarian. She vegan. She vegan. I was I was I was vegan. Yes. And I slowly turned pescatarian because yes. this shit is hard. It's just but hard. I still don't eat dairy, so yeah. But we got some. Um, Wait, what else we got? We got some French fries. She got some French fries. And look, fries right I, here. I already took a bite of the chicken. But I'm gonna just flip it so y'all can see it. Fuck it. We got, I got four piece. But when you get a four piece, hold on, let me show y'all. What camera are we on? What camera are we on? The, the wide? All right, when you get a four piece, oh no, go to my camera. 
When you get that four piece right there, hold on, there it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I took a bite out of it. When you get that four piece, make sure you get all thighs. Gotta get the dark meat. I'm a, I'm a dark meat type of gal. Okay, baby, what you got? I already started eating. Mm, mm, shit. Oh, okay, so we also got mm. for dessert some, some strawberry biscuits. They got strawberry biscuits now, Popeyes. Okay. And because I'm pescatarian, y'all, hold on. Mm. If you're just listening to this, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. you in your ear. Baby, what you dropping in the Rolls Royce? Baby? Where's your shrimp? Where's my shrimp? Did Hold they on. forget it? No, it's, what's in here? Is that it? Oh, is it in the bag? Wait, it's in some. We gotta find a shrimp. She got some shrimp. Some popcorn shrimp. Hold up. The mic moving shrimp. everywhere. There it is. Hold on. There it is. Pumpkin dumpkin. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Who took a bite of my biscuit? You took a bite of my biscuit? Here, swap me. I think that I thought that was my biscuit. Take your biscuit right here, baby. Okay. There you go. What you get? Show what you got. Give my biscuit back. All right. Hold my mic. Hold my mic. Okay. Oh, That's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Oh. Oh. So I got a biscuit. I got some shrimp, <laughs> some scrimp right some here, scrimp. you okay. know, Louisiana style. What else? And I got some rice and beans right here. She want that rice and peas. Mm, mm. So mm -hmm. we about to get into it. And oh wait, can't forget. Got a drink. The sweet tea. Mm. Can't forget the sweet tea, y'all. Mm. Mm. Who you know get Popeyes and a Rolls Royce? Hey. We fancy now. We got new now. Look. Oh shit, my chicken is hard with a mic. God damn it. Shit. Mm. We got Popeyes and a motherfucking Rolls Royce. Come on now. Ooh. All right. Give it to her. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. All right, baby. Mmm. Mm. All right, let's try. I'm smacking. Wait, baby. Where's strawberry biscuit? I ain't never tried strawberry biscuit. Eat that afterwards. Let me try the strawberry biscuit, baby. Okay. Damn, we got a biscuit. Let me try the strawberry. Okay. But I ain't never tried the strawberry biscuit before. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna try the strawberry biscuit. Strawberry. Right mm. Oh, shit. Got some, it. Baby, you got some, like, cream on it. <laughs> That's perfect for the back seat, huh? Let me say goodbye. Come on. Okay. Give me some. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. It's a little dry. I like it. I have good flavor though. God damn. That's that Popeye's biscuit That's shit. Thick. That motherfucker. Oh it shit. It does have good flavor though, I'm not gonna lie. One thing they're gonna do is make sure you get a drink with their biscuits. Hey, that's so you smacking. It is good. It has a great flavor. I'm not gonna lie. Great flavor. It remind me. What you rate it? One to ten. Popeye's mm -hmm. strawberry biscuit. What you rate it? One, one more bite. You can fuck that terry up. Oh, Which damn. It's better on the second bite for sure. Okay. I'm going to give that a cool six. A six? I'm good. Okay, let me try one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, juicy mouth. What you giving it, baby? Mm, I hear that 7.5. Mm. That shit hit me. I think it would have been better if it was like a little hotter. A little bit hotter, yeah. We took a little while to open it. Okay. Speed karaoke. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Um, the word is cheat. Um, I should have cheated. What the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> Cheated. You gotta sing it. It was like they should go or something. You gotta sing it though. Sing it at I least. I... <laughs> sing it. That's all my fucking No, uh, you didn't let me sing. You gonna sing on my turn? I know what song I'm singing. <laughs> Y'all know. Mm -mm. I should have cheated. If you don't know more than five words, <laughs> might as well have cheated, cheated on, on you. you. That's you knew a song I was singing. You know a song I was singing. Altar. Five. Four. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't getting no young, young girl. girl. We might, might as well, well do it. Don't sing with me. What's your definition of cheating? What do you mean? Cheating is cheating. Your partner's dancing. We're best friends right now. Right. We're best friends. We're not together. If somebody dances on somebody else while they're in a relationship, at a party, club, whatever it is, is that considered cheating? I think it depends on your boundaries in your relationship. Mm. 
I feel like oh shit. If you have that trust there and stuff, and like you know that your partner doesn't like overdo it and stuff, then possibly it's not cheating. Mm-hmm. If that's something y'all are comfortable with, but I could see some partners aren't okay with that because maybe they don't have. There's like no bound. There's like boundaries that their partner has crossed before or something like that. You know. Okay. Okay. What do you think? I think dancing is not cheating. Dance is definitely not cheating, especially with two girls. A guy different. Like, you dancing, you backing that ass up on a guy, and he got a whole... So that's cheating? It's a little different. It ain't cheating, but damn. Yeah, I don't think it's cheating. I think that it's it like, could be like... To me, it's not going. It's not like, oh, we breaking up. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it might be like, um, this made me feel a little uncomfortable. Let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like with us... I used to, in the beginning, I used to dance with girls, and I I feel like it's just fun. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now, you kind of set that boundary. It's like, the way that I dance, though, yeah, I, I do a like lot. Yeah, you didn't really know how to, like, reel that shit in. It's yeah. like, the way you would dance was just a little over the top. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, so now, <laughs> like... trying to have sex right now? Or... <laughs> what? Now, what I do, like, I feel like sometimes, I don't seek to dance with girls, but I feel like if a girl's trying to dance with me, mm-hmm. I'll let her do her thing, I'll hype her up, and I kind of would do it in a way where I'm not really touching her. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So where it doesn't feel awkward, where, like, say she's trying to dance behind me, I'm like, hey, I'll get low and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? But try not to have her booty just maximus on top of my, my you know, genitalias oh my god <laughs> Bootius maximus so if i dance with somebody else what do you think you okay with it depends that? if it's a if it's a jamaican fuck no <laughs> yo do you remember that one time we went to a jamaican club and that guy literally <laughs> grabbed my head and bent me over there's literally a picture of me, like, with my mouth hanging open because I could mm-hmm. not believe this guy was doing this to me. Jamaicans build different, bro. They they be hopping on your back and all that shit. Like, nah, bro, get off my girl. But then I can't even complain because they probably beat my ass. I would be sitting <laughs> in the corner, just crying in the corner. What are you doing, though, like, if you're married and your partner cheats on you? The fuck? We're done. Why is that even a question? Cheating on me while we're married? Okay, we're okay, done. Okay, let's define. Finito. Let's Gotta go. <laughs> You're out of here. One strike, you're out. All right. I don't care. What? Some people think that once you're married, like, you have to, like, try to work things like that out. No, I'm getting a divorce that day. Okay. I wish the fuck you would. What? Do you wish that? I, no, I really don't. But, like, if you if you thought of that it, or anybody that I was with before you and if we were to get married, there's no way. I don't play that. I don't okay. play that. Like. Okay. I don't care. Like, we not working through nothing. You broke my heart, so I'm finna break this marriage. Yeah. Why you cheat on me, though? That's OD. I didn't. You did. I did not. You cheated on this me. This was hypothetical. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> what is your definition of cheating? Well, my definition of cheating is literally being intimate with another person while you're in a relationship with could me. Could texting be cheating? Because, like, you could have intimate text messages. If you're talking about in being intimate with each other, yes, we're done. If y'all That's flirting, cheating. if we're if y'all flirting, we're done. Okay, we're done. Don't okay. ever flirt with nobody else. Now, I I but I'm not insecure though. I'm not an insecure person, so I understand that you're a beautiful goddess and a queen. Yeah. And so I know when you step out the house, how I be looking at you. Mm-hmm. Like other people gonna look at you. I don't care about none of that. I'm not the type of person. Oh, unless you mean your ass and nipples are out or something like that. But like, <laughs> I don't care what you, how you look or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's not as long as it's not disrespectful. But when you step out, I know everybody gonna look at you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're beautiful. It's just a simple fact. If you engage in that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I'll be like, hey man, look, look, she look good, huh? Don't she? But if you're not engaging that, like you're doing your thing. You feel me? Right. But if you don't engage in that, like. If you flirting with somebody else, I can't trust you. I can't trust Absolutely. you. But I, I feel like once that trust is broken, for me personally, like, I don't even see. It's like, I don't care how much I love you. I just can't see myself trying to make it work because I know me. Mm-hmm. I know me. Once that trust is broken, especially with infidelity, yeah, what's going to stop you from doing it again? Well, you didn't trust me in the beginning. I didn't trust you because you were a little wild. We were best friends for a long time, though, so I had to adjust. Yeah, but you never, once we were in a relationship, you never disrespected me as far as, like, full, like, going cheating on me, you know? So, 
if there was ever a case, I just wouldn't have, no matter how much I love you, I just would not have been able to make that happen, Captain. I remember there was an incident where I didn't know. Which one are you talking about? Well, damn, how many incidents are there? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. We've been together for a minute. Well, remember when we was at that one party? Mm-hmm. And we was playing a game? Right. And it got a little too intense, like, and that guy put you on the shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> crazy <laughs> hey we're playing like truth or dare right and i thought it was funny mm-hmm. you know until, what I'm saying? until he put me on his shoulder no i was laughing i was kicking but you didn't think it was funny mm. well my dare yeah because i told you not to do it and you did it anyway yeah you're right so well you just got lifted up on your shoulders on somebody on else's shoulders. shoulders against my will no, nothing's it ever was, against your will. Oh, my God. And okay. so this big buff dude. And she was like, oh, my God, he's a Sigma Phi Beta. And you know how they be like. <laughs> is that what they, is that the, is that them? They be like, the ones that do the dog, like, thing with their, and have their tongues out. Had, her on, had her on her shoulders. So she was like, I said, live it up, baby. Go ahead. No, Wait till I get my all, dare. <laughs> Wait till I get there. That is, see, that was the problem. <laughs> that was the energy you were on. Like, you was ready to go all the way because you did. You try to act like it didn't bother you, but it did. And it that's didn't, the reason, though. That's the reason when it came to your dare, I literally said, don't do it. And you decided to do it anyway. What was the reason? What was the reason? Okay. but we, we You got- were trying to play get back, but really and truly. So this guy was, like, on me all night. First of all, he didn't know that we were together. I don't think because I think we were really in best friend mode that mm-hmm. night. Like, what y'all, what we're, y'all mean? We was chilling. And sometimes, yeah, like we don't always be like lovey dovey and stuff. That like, was sometimes. the beginning of our relationship, right? Though. So we weren't even like really fully. Well, I wasn't fully comfortable just being like lovey dovey like that in public. So this guy, it was like a, it wasn't public, but it was like a party, intimate a little friend setting. And the guy was like clearly like into me. So somebody dared him, like, oh, I dare you to lift her up on your sh- shoulders and pretend you're performing something i don't know how to say that without it pretend you're performing a a sexual favor there you go (laughs) and and literally before i could say anything i'm on this big buff dude's shoulders and i'm like literally trying to get down and he has me up against the wall and i'm like oh my god like that's what they be that's what they be talking about holly these Hollywood parties, huh? First of all, this man, his breath stunk too on top of it. So it was, it was not, it was not all. It That's was, the Hollywood shit. You saw Hollywood? That was a holly tosis. That's what it was. Not. <laughs> you saw Hollywood now? Did you not like my joke? What was your, the holly I said tosis? it was holly tosis. I didn't catch that. I said his breath stank, but you were, you wasn't listening. You weren't listening. To oh, that, you saying. be hit. Yeah, um, I'm they, caught it on, they caught it because they were actually listening. I'm sorry. It's okay. See, this is what Car Chronicles is about, you know? <laughs> What's it about, baby? Who's, this is having a good time. Just having a good time eating Popeyes. You know what I'm saying? Are we smacking Carla? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I chew, I try to move my mic. Right, is it too it? loud? Like it's going to be cringe? Ass. <laughs> Y'all, if we're smacking too loud, let us know in the comments. Yeah, it's a mo- it's a mook bang. You were smacking. I was oh, moving my m- mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you doing if you wanted to be intimate with your partner? Okay. You tried. Mm-hmm. They weren't really in the mood, quote unquote. Okay. But then you end up finding out or seeing, like, catching them pleasuring themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how do I say this in the most like appropriate way to somebody else. Like, wait, what? To who? It could literally be a video online, and I caught it, or like I know about it. Like, no, what, you, like you walked in or something like that. I'm gonna be mad. I ain't gonna cap. Is that cheating? Oh no, no, that's not cheating. That's not cheating. If it's my homie or something, yeah, my homie. Like, what if you are watching a video like a, a skit or something? And you watching oh, them? Like, oh hell no, nah. no. Nah, like it's like a professional. I don't think that's cheating though. Is it like messed up? If she asks me and I deny it and then I catch her, I'm like, I wouldn't be as mad if it's like a video of a substance on Cornhub. You know what I'm saying? Of a substance. Of a, did I say substance? I just yeah. be fucking talking. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But 
if I see her, <laughs> I'm like, what type of substance? <laughs> substance. Yeah. I don't even know. I said that. It's a damn chicken. Who they putting in this chicken? Mm. It's either the car. It's Car Chronicles. It's Car Chronicles. Or it's a it ain't Popeyes. Popeyes would never do that to us. I'd be a little upset. It'll sting a little. But if she asked me, it's just like I gotta understand. You know. Yeah, would you feel like, dang, I'm a piece of crap. Look at her having to do this herself. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll probably get turned on. I ain't gonna cap. So you think that's freaky, right? I think it's freaky at a point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, it was sting, but then more so would turn me on. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. In what, in what way? Like, Why are you grabbing your hair like that? Look, we gotta keep right. PG. This has to go yeah. on YouTube. Okay, so, all right, you're right. <laughs> Reel it in. Reel it in. All right, so just between us. Okay. What's too freaky for you? Like, give me some examples of something that would be too freaky. Like, no, that's where I draw the line. Uh, uh, Damn, Damn, that made me want to burp. That made me want to burp. It was too freaky. I'm thinking that shit right now. Okay. Not the burp. The burp, maybe. Burp burp. during sex is too freaky. That's too freaky. Don't do that shit. It's too freaky. Oh, I got one. Oof. Right. It's too freaky. Okay, tell me. Okay, I have to say this in the cleanest way possible. Okay, try. Okay. <laughs> so you're 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 you know you're being intimate. Okay. And you guys are doing the do. The do. And while you are doing the do, mm-hmm. you then there's you know there a woman and a man does have t- two anatomy parts of them like holes. Okay. As soon as you say hole, I don't want to hear the rest. <laughs> I don't want to hear the rest. Let me finish. So you know the no, the the one that we okay. How do you say this so clean? Okay, it's too freaky. Maybe you so, should just go to a different one. No, let me tell you what too freaky is. You ask me the question, I'm gonna answer the goddamn question. All right. Okay, so too freaky is if we're doing it and then we go to the back door okay. and then if you do back door and then being like oh like they give oral to you. That makes sense. Ew. Oral after the back door. Yeah. That's too fucking freaky. That's too much. And then you try to kiss me, bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, that's disgusting. that's too freaky. That's disgusting. But you better, you better hack the fuck up. Oh my god. Oh, I guarantee you, there's someone out there mouth. probably watching this that that would like not be. That's too. To that's them. too freaky. That's way too freaky. Oof. Yeah, oh stinky ass, I'm a little stinker butt, stink stink. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, ask me. What's okay, right? What's too freaky for you? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna participate, baby? What's, yeah, I wanna okay. play the game. Okay, okay. What, what's um, too freaky for you? It's too freaky. Okay. If someone wants to urinate or defecate on you. The defecate part, you lost me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Wait, so you're okay. Uh, right. Are you like Carisha, please? Not like her. That bitch a freak. She was like, y'all saw on her podcast when she was like, she like all that. She likes when she a men freak, freak. Pee do on that. her. Nah, it's too. Fr- I mean, well, lot. men are different. Y'all, men, it's a lot. No, no, men are different though. Hold the fuck up. Men and pee got, is different. Pee, and it's a strong stream. Like, yeah, they're it's just like <laughs> shoot you in the eye. Like, yeah, you ever heard a guy pee versus a girl pee? Like a guy pee, it sounds like a freaking waterfall. Girl pee sounds like somebody frying chicken. Like it's light. <laughs> it's like. Like it's like <laughs> not fried chicken. chicken. You know when you hear that oil sizzling pop sound? Yeah. It's light. You know what I'm right. saying? It's nothing so crazy. a guy like yeah, there's no way you're freaking. It's no, I feel that. Okay, all right. Yeah, too freaky. Hmm, I ain't got no more. I think that that's it. That's I, it for yeah. you. That's it for me. Because I just don't want to start picturing and imagining, imagining like too freaky stuff. Like you know what I'm saying? Too, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, no, I got one. I got one. another okay. one that's too freaky. Oh my god! Like I love, like I love, you know, being freaky. You know what I'm saying? But too freaky Not is that like I, mean I do, I do, I love being freaky. But like too freaky is like when you you get too aggressive in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Why are you saying you? Are you making? You why are you making this about me? I feel targeted. I'm t- I'm saying you. You just between us, I okay, feel like okay. you can't be too aggressive in the bedroom. Like the dominance and dominatrix, even it could be cool. But if you like, I like a little love tap here and there. You know what I'm saying? But if you 
fucking slapped my ass. Like, and I see some stars. I didn't even know stars was real. Nat slapped me so goddamn hard one time. <laughs> Motherfucker see some damn stars. And that, I was, I, I flinched. The, I flinched after that. I was traumatized. It was a little too much. Yeah. It was too much, baby. I, I was traumatized. Away. Yeah. I carried away. Yeah. I was like, damn, bitch, you trying to fight? <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking scared. I'm looking at her. I thought it was Krishan at the first second. I was trying to beat your ass. Up. Yeah. Dang. She was trying to. Shit. My bad. What I about? remember after that, like, you would, like, kind of flinch. That's what I said. It, just hold on. She she raising her hand back. I'm like, sorry, master. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh my God. what's two? You got any more? Mm, Too freaky. Okay. I do have another one. What? Have y'all seen... Okay, so, like, with BDSM, right? People... Some people take it to, like, the next level. Like, the bondage part. Where, you know, bondage could be mm -hmm. using rope. We know what the hell it is. We grown. What's up? Some what's, of them don't. Okay. So, what's up? What's bondage happening? could be rope, okay. ups, things like that. Got like, you. Kind of basically, like, you know, whatever. Some people like to be put in, like, cages and, like, left there. You've experienced that? I didn't say I've experienced Then how is that too freaky? I'm just saying it's too much. You can't say if it's too much. You've experienced that? No. Have you? I have not. Come on, this is Car Chronicles. Tell us what No, I have not experienienced that. Then how is that too freaky if you've never, you can't, you don't even it's, know. I've never been peed on before either, but I know I wouldn't want that to happen to me. There's some shit you gotta, you gotta tell me the truth. I don't well, believe why you. Why do you feel like I've done that? <laughs> like, there's been no, in do I look like I'm molest somebody put me in a cage? That's why you be getting traumatized when a, when you all alone, you feel like no more luck, Doris, like you damn she didn't. She be no, on some wild but stuff. But people, there's some people out there that really like that. Like they want you to put them in a cage and they'll let you leave. Them. They want you to leave them for days, like right. And the whole time be turned on. Like I, that's too long to even be turned. What on. What you be watching? That's too damn long. What do you wait? What do you? We gotta talk. What do you? What kind of? What are you watching? How do you even I know about a cage? I learned this in a documentary about okay. BDSM. I was intrigued and I was like. You know what? Why There's... are you watching a documentary on BDSM? Because it was intriguing. But what made you search it on Google? I didn't search it. I feel like it came up. I don't even remember. So your history is just BDSM. So that no. popped up. Oh my How God. do we get there? How do we so, get there? Essentially, I don't remember, but mm -hmm. it came up and it was crazy. I was like, whoa. So damn, I mean, I'll just talk about, you know, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's, Let's talk about how to do this. But dad. Dad, what was that? Dad. What was that? La. 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 <laughs> Listen, man. This was fun. This was fun. I yes. Had so much fun, y'all. This yes. was such a great time. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for tuning in. Yes. We hope you loved our first episode of Car Chronicles, Just Between Us. Just Between Us. I'm your host, Easy. And I'm Natalie O'Dell. Thank y'all for tuning in. This was amazing. And make sure you guys comment where you want us to drive next. We're going to another drive through. It might not be Popeyes. Comment where y'all want us to go eat. Give us some topics to talk about because we're in the car with it. You know what I'm saying? And we might pull up on you. Right. We might pull up on you like skr skr. You feel me? <laughs> so tap in. Make sure you tune in. If you guys are listening, go to our YouTube channel and head over there on Easy X Natalie and type just between us podcast slash car chronicles. We out. Gang, gang.